What is up guys, C Sharks5 here and how hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. I had school and we only have a week um left till Christmas, thank God. But um yeah, I hate school if you guys didn't know that. I don't I don't ha ever have a really good day at school. But besides the topic of that, today is Monday and Monday is usually a wacky day, so I usually post any videos saying tutorials, Fridays or Freddy's, stuff like that. But today is a tutorial on how to change your Windows 7 boot screen. Uh if you guys don't know that way. Don't know what that means it's like when you turn your Windows 7 computer, or if you have a Mac, then this won't really apply to you. You can uh, I might make a video on it, even though I don't have one. I really don't know. But um, when you start Windows 7 up or Windows 8, I don't have Windows 8, so I don't really know. But when you start Windows 7, it has a little like flag logo thing, and it like oh, it's all boring and stock and everything. But I'm gonna show you how to change that. Um, all the links to this tutorial will be in the description, so just focus on the video. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I'll show you where to get them, how to upload them, and I'll do that. But anyway, the first link where you want to go to is the Windows 7 Boot Updater. This is what you're going to need to actually change your um, boot screen if um, you want to, which is probably the reason why you wanted to watch this video. And you probably see like start download and all this other crap. Just hit, uh, just follow my lead and press uh, this one where it says Trusted. Download that, and it will pop up with this. Do not click anything else. Just wait for it to load, and there you go. Uh, since I'm running 32-bit, it'll automatically pop up with 32-bit. If you're running 64, then it'll pop up with 64. But after you do that, download it. Um, I'm going to click cancel because I already have it downloaded. And yeah, when you first um, start it up, oops, sorry, all the notes and stuff. Um, when you first start off, um, you want to go and open it up. Yeah, this is my background. I haven't really showed you guys it. But yeah, it's a, I don't know, cool background, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, once you start it up, this is what it'll look like. Um, since I've changed it, it looks like that. Um, but yeah, after you open it, it shouldn't do that. But what I recommend you doing is t uh, going on your desktop, uh, go to New, Folder, and then just name it like um, uh, Boot Skins. Like that. And then you're, this is where you're going to put all your Boot Skins. Since I already have a folder, which is right here that I didn't name it, I have some of my Boot Skins in there. And I'll show you now how to get that. And so after you download that, you can click out of this link, and you can go to deviantarts.com. Um, and this is a bunch of different Windows 7 boot screens. Um, like if you have Windows 8, this is a cool one for you. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. Like uh, it's easier to pick ones like Move. Like if you see ones that are moving, try to click on those more than ones that are just like static or AKA stationary. Um, so yeah. Um, I want to pick one that uh, I think is pretty cool. Uh, let's do this one, the Need for Speed one. And after you do that, uh, you will just hit see the download link. You'll click download, save. You have to have WinRAR for this. If you don't have it, I think there's another program, but I forget the name of it. But yeah, it's very very simple. Um, it'll take a couple seconds to download. Um, I'm using Firefox, so it'll put put it up here. If you're using Chrome, it'll come down here. After you do that, uh, it'll download, open it up, minimize this, go into your folder of where you're saving the um boot skins back um and you want to find the b7 file so you want to find these two you want to take this one drag it in there and then there might have two depending on the size of your screen so i just went ahead and dragged both of them in there uh you can minimize this just in case we need it later you want to open the boot screen updater um go to file load boot skin and it should be in there uh Type, do the Need for Speed one, and when you hit play, it will be there. It'll this one includes a background, some of them don't. But notice how it's like a little um um what is it? What's the word? Small. Um, so that way, like I said before, if you go to load boot skin again and choose the other one, it might be bigger. Um, oh no, this one just doesn't have the background. So this is only one size for this one. But yeah, basically when you start your computer, this is what it will do. It'll just do whatever um when you have. Mine is this, and you guys, I think all pretty much know that my name is Travis, so, um, no, that's not that one, that was my old one, um, but like I said, there's a bunch of different ones that you can pick, um, I think it's this one, so when you hit, pl yeah, okay, this is mine, so whenever I start my computer, go to full screen, this is what it does, it's pretty cool, I like it a lot, just a simple, very, very easy one, um, that I really like a lot, I, um, turn my computer off sometimes just to see this when I'm really bored, um, but yeah, 
it'll just keep looping, so if you watch that for hours, it'll do the same thing. But the cooler thing is, is under here where it says Microsoft Corporation, let's pause it because there's a little bit, of, little bit of lag. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, where it says Microsoft uh, Corporation, if you want to change that, all you have to little, literally have to do is go over here and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in blah, blah, blah. As you see, it pops up down there. You can change the color of it. It's like green, I guess you can say, like that. And then when you go to full screen and play it, I'm going to play it first. Oops. Play it, it'll say blah. But I will not take any responsibility to what happens if you do this because there has been problems where the hard drive can't read it and it'll w completely wipe out your hard drive. And I'm not saying that it's 100%. It's like a 99.9% .9 chance it will not happen. I don't take any responsibility if this happens. Um, this is all on you. This is all on your part. Um, <clears throat> but I have never had problems. I've done it for a couple of my other my friends. I never had any problems running into it. It's just one of those things that it depends on the um, boot logo. Yeah. But after you've done that, you click apply, and there you go. You can go to message two again. Well, apparently my cats are fighting, having a little shindig. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, for the example of this video, I'm going to go to um, Windows um, 7 Updates. Tur. And then when I go to, you can change the color of this one too again. Uh, let's do, um, I don't know, let's do blue. Do that in full screen, and it looks really cool. So you can have like different colors, text, and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can have. But sorry about that. But there's a bunch of other things that you can do. Um, there's a bunch of other um templates um that uh you can get. Uh, just make sure to save it to the folder so that so it's all um organized. And yeah, also before I um get off and say bye, um when you go on to um the Windows 7 thing, it's not going to automatically um, go to that folder. You want to go to Load Boot Skin and then just find the folder on your desktop. So you want to go to Desktop and then look for the folder as whatever you named it. So I want to click New Folder and as you see, all mine are in there. So yeah, that way every single time you go to Load Boot Skin, that'll always pop in that folder and then you'll have them. Just make sure every single time you uh, click the BS7.BS7 um, folder or file, um, that way it can read it with the boots, uh, boot screen and then Windows 7 is what I think it stands for. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I got Gmod the other day. I might be doing some videos like that. Um, if you want to ever browse some more, there's a bunch of different ones. Just make sure you like look at the ones that are moving. It makes it easier. Um, like a couple of them are really, really cool. Um, I just like mine because I don't feel like changing it. But I just want to make, the make this video because one... It was a Monday, and I just do anything I want. And also, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I wanted to show you guys this. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit too fast, just the way I talk. I don't know. But, a <laughs> little Pikachu. Uh, that's cool. The trolling Windows 7 boot screen, that's actually kind of cool. You can change that to you want. I'll, I'll, like I said, the link will be in the description if you want to change this, if you haven't clicked off already. Um, yeah, there's like a guy walking, bunch of... There's even the Xbox thing like I'm saying there's endless possibilities but it can only be what other people created um, I don't know if you can create your own if you're like very very good with stuff like that I'm not I'm only good with Peter's and like fixing and stuff like that but yeah um, this is my background if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, it has a bunch of random stuff but anyway hopefully you guys it had a good Monday I probably didn't because I'm recording this on Sunday but um yeah hopefully you guys had a um, Good weekend. Um, if I forget it, say if I forget to say it in the next couple of videos, which I probably won't. Happy Chris, Happy Christmas! Wow, wow! I just said Happy Christmas. I really just said that. Merry Christmas. Um, if I forget to say it, which I probably won't. Hopefully, you guys have a very, very good season. Um, and yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to tune in for Wednesdays and Fridays video. Wednesday Minecraft and Friday is Friday shoutouts. And yeah, don't forget to follow my Twitter, um, where I post and tell you guys when my new videos are uploaded. Um, thank you for liking this video. Thank you for commenting on this video. And most of all, thank you for subscribing to my videos. To my video, you can't even subscribe to a video. You can try, you can subscribe to a channel, but not a video. I am very, very bad at making videos, and I just now realized that. But I just wanted to thank you guys all, also for all the support that you guys have given me. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been running out of stuff to record. I don't know what else to record. So if you guys have any suggestions for Monday, um, then yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. 
um, for what I could record. Like I said, I have Monday or Wednesday and Friday pretty much set, so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to find something that's related to that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one.